take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it everyone i am back with another homemaking cleaning very very minimal decorating video for you these are honestly some of my absolute favorite videos to watch on youtube and have lately now become some of my favorite to film as well so today's video we are going to be doing some cleaning in the kitchen and the living room all the other rooms in the house were quite okay and on top of things and i kind of wanted to give the kitchen a little bit of a deep clean so we're going to clean some of the drawers behind the microwave kind of area um just to get ready for fall and winter i feel like i do like a deep fall clean and a deep spring clean i think quite a lot of people do that as well um, and the living room area as well we're going to change up the table a little bit i did decorate it in my last video before but i found a new tray which is very exciting uh, so we're gonna be good doing all that today and then the recipes i have super excited homemade honey garlic uh, meatballs with homemade wedgies and then i'll have a beautiful honestly it was absolutely delicious apple and cinnamon it was meant to be a loaf i don't have a loaf tin so it was a cake either way it was delicious ate it all so that must mean that it tasted delicious which it did first off i'm just going to do the washing up always start with the washing up i just like to start with a clean service so i need to get rid of all of the washing that needs to be done like i said in my last video my dishwasher is working at last woohoo cheers for me uh but i still love to hand wash but when we do the cooking and everything all of that goes in the dishwasher like this is like a small amount that i could just quickly bang out with my hands i'm not gonna use the dishwasher for um, and then we're gonna crack on into the rest of the cleaning so hope you guys enjoy this hope you guys stick with me and i will leave all the information for recipes and whatnot down below and let's just get an end to it Honestly, this level of satisfaction is next to none. Seeing my cooker just transform and glisten, it's everything. This is a little trick that I do is I grab a little butter knife and put some paper towel around it and just go around the perimeter of the cooker. Ours is kind of glued on so I can't go as deep and get as all the grime out that I want to, but I did what I could. And then we're tackling the backsplash. Now, if you've been here for a while, and you know my cleaning, you know that this backsplash is the bane of my life. I can't keep it clean, I can't get it fully cleaned. So I just soaked it with the anti batch that I showed you earlier. I put that on about 10 minutes before um, and then I cleaned it, it was a little bit better. This is a little bit of mess that we had under the microwave. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would be worse. So I'm actually quite impressed. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna clean up on here and do the backsplash down here as well. And I must say this spiced plum Flora wow it is stunning it's probably my favorite sephora i've ever come across it's very sweet uh, and i love i love it now like i love just to clean the sides for it it's just amazing 
and then you can see me tackling this backsplash again. I really want a mirror backsplash so bad, guys. Honestly, when I build my own house, mirror backsplash, it's a must. tackle a couple of drawers we only have a couple of drawers anyway um this one here is our second one down it's kind of where we keep the chopping boards and like cling film you saw everything um but it was just a little bit crummy a little bit messy i think as we leave our heat pads in here that when they collect food or they collect dust from being on the work surface when they're being a protection from the cookware that we use uh, then they go back in here i think they just add some crumbs and obviously it's a drawer underneath where we cook so multiple things but i thought i'd just give it a clean anyway using this a flora and just a paper towel and then put it all back in and then i thought while i'm there i may as well do the cutlery one as well which is the first one the one above so it would have made sense to do it the other way around but here we are they've both got done regardless <laughs> Jeans just shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't And going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love Will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting Half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store uh, I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights A year away Like the seconds The beginning and the end uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday Your picture's gonna bring it home To me again The world is waiting up The world is waiting Half a step beyond our door oh. And if it's not enough See the stuff the world has got in store I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights So 
So our bins, especially our recycling bins, really need a good clean down. Tom usually cleans them after we empty them the inside of them, but the top bit just gets food everywhere, uh, just because of their placement and the use they're a bin. Um, so I'm just gonna give those a little wipe down. I just sprayed the Sephora with some paper towel again, and then just cleaning those. And then I'm gonna add in a paper towel with some comfort on there as well, just to help the smell. I usually add this into the bottom, but we started adding our recycling in before I had the chance to. And then I will be cleaning down our normal bin as well. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home Savannah, we'll never be alone Savannah, the beauty of the world Savannah, let's all take a road Savannah So the computer area just needed a little dust and then the computer screen just to be wiped down. So it's very easy, very quick. And please ignore that we don't have a chair. We do now. Uh, but with Tom working from home, we were short on chairs. So that one didn't have one for a while, but we've got new ones now. Uh, the wax mount here, the holder is from Home Bargains and the actual one is spiced apple and it's Glade. And I'm obsessed with matches at the moment. So I just lit this to set the ambiance. And then here is Edna, uh, is what we've named her. It was my birthday present from Tom. She's our little robo hoover and I'm just gonna put her to work now that the kitchen's done while I work on the living room. I oh, just love her so much, she's amazing. Do any of you have a robo hoover? Is it on your wish list? Is it on your Christmas list? Because Christmas, Christmas isn't far, my loves. Um, I don't have a Christmas list yet. It's just that hopefully we can go on holiday next year. That's it. Savannah. We'll never be alone, Savannah.
So I spoke about this spray before, but if you're new here or if you're just curious anyway, it's basically the comfort that I showed you earlier, just mixed with water and I use this constantly. I use it on everything. I use it on the blinds. I use it on the sofa. I use it on the bed. I use it when our clothes come out of the washing. I use it when our clothes are dry. I use it on the beanbag. Anyway, fake flowers. Oh my gosh. Anyway, the possibilities are endless. So I basically spray that at every stage of the cleaning of the couch. On like a daily basis, I probably use it maybe once or twice um, a week. And then I spray it and then I vacuumed, if you saw. And I find that that makes the scent like push into the cushions and lasts longer. I could be wrong, but that's how I feel like it works for me. Um, but you'll see that I literally use this constantly and I spray at basically every stage. And I'm also really excited to change my decor for winter um, and for Christmas. I feel like I've had these same cushions over a year now because uh, I forgot to change them last year and I just never got around to it. So I'm really excited to be able to change them very, very soon. Okay, now all the cleaning is done, we're going to start with the food prep. I'm going to do all the food now. Like I said, I will leave everything linked down below. But what you're going to do is get some pork mince. You can use beef if you prefer. Um, and then just roll them into little balls. You can add like garlic into these if you want. We found them absolutely fine with the sauce that we added on anyway. Give them a light fry until they're nice golden brown. At this point, I forgot to film because I was filming a TikTok. But you're going to add half a cup of honey, half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of brown sugar, four cloves of garlic, some ginger, mix it all together into a little bowl. Then when your meatballs are a nice goldeny brown, I just put them on some paper towel just to soak off any excess oil or anything. You're gonna pop these into the slow cooker. You're cooking it on low for three hours um, and you're gonna pour the sauce in. Pour the sauce in straight away. Um, 
and then just leave that then to, to cook for three hours. And then that's it. I love the slow cooker at the moment. Um, my favorite, favorite thing, I just love banging everything in and then not having to think about it or not have to worry about it. So just let that set aside. And then apparently I didn't film much of this either, but you're gonna get some baking potatoes, cut them up into little thinly sliced wedgies, put them onto boil. Once they have softened, so not a full soft like mashed potato, take them out, put some paprika, some salt, some pepper, some garlic, so whatever you kind of want on them with some oil, pop them in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes and you've got some wedgies. So yeah, but now we're on to the cake. Well, it's meant to be a loaf, like I said, but we're gonna make a cake instead because if you're like me, you might not have a loaf tin. So we're gonna make cake. Like I said, I will leave the recipe down below if you wanna make it yourselves. But you wanna take a third of a cup of either dark brown or light brown sugar, as long as it's brown sugar, and then one to two teaspoons of cinnamon and just give that a little mix in a mixing bowl and set it aside separately. And then you wanna get some apples. I think I used two or three apples and you wanna chop these up and slice them. Now you can slice them in different ways. Um, I think I do them in two different ways but it kinda of just depends on you. Once they cook, they go really like soggy anyway and easy to eat. Um, and you can peel them if you want. I left all my skins on mine because I kind of preferred it like that. And then once they are all cut, what you want to do is toss two tablespoons of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon in another bowl and set that aside separately. So you should have a bowl of apple, sugar and cinnamon in one and then a bowl of cinnamon and brown sugar in another. It'll all make sense very soon. So then in another mixing bowl, or if you have a KitchenAid and you're using that, that's fine. You want to add half a cup of softened unsalted butter and two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar and mix that together. Mix that till it's about light and fluffy. Add in two eggs. You can do them one at a time if you want, if you're using like a KitchenAid, like I said, um, and then add in some vanilla extract. I really go quite crazy with my vanilla extract. You can do like one teaspoon, but... I usually do about two to three. I just love it. I love it. I think there's nothing better than vanilla extract in my cakes. And then you want to go and add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm actually using self-raising flour. I don't know about anybody else. I'll just use whatever flour I have on hand. <laughs> um, and then one and three quarter teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. Give that a little mix and then once all that is kind of blended in with the previous mix that we did, you want to add in half a cup of milk into the batter as well. Just have a little dance if you want, if you like me. Okay, and now we layer the cake. So you're gonna do half of the batter you've made, then you're gonna add in half of the apples and cinnamon and sugar, and then you can like swirl that around, push the apples down. Then you're gonna add in half of the cinnamon and brown sugar, the first thing we made. Give that a little play as well and then do that again. So you're gonna add in the batter, the apples, and then the cinnamon on top. And you can give it a little swirl around, you can push the apples down, make sure that it's all kind of coated, and that is it. You're gonna pop it in the oven, and you're gonna pop it in there for an hour, hour and 10, hour and 15, hour and 20. Um, after an hour, I just turned mine down and kept an eye on it, uh, but it was quite done after an hour, to be fair. And you're gonna be cooking that on 180 degrees Celsius. Cause I am happy on this island Wanna be my fun left island 
then optional extra I made icing on top. I used one cup of powdered sugar and then about three or four spoons of milk and just mixed that and then I put it on top of the cake and it's delicious. Um, and then I'm just gonna quickly go in and hoover and mop the floor. This is my shark hoover, my absolute babe. I love him, the best thing I've ever brought in my whole entire life. You can see all the things cooking on the side. And then to mop, I'm going to use the Flash Speed Mop. Still not a fan of this, still just using it until I run out of pads. And then I'm going to go back to my old mop. Just don't like it. Doesn't last. Ugh, it's just not my favourite thing in the world. Um, and then that is it, my loves. That is the homemaking, cleaning, cooking, baking with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are all still staying safe. I know the world is still so uncertain. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gives you some motivation. I hope it makes you feel a little bit cosy and warm inside. If you try any of the recipes, personally, I, I, I prefer you to try the cake because it's absolutely delicious. Um, please let me know. Please tag me. Please share it with me. Um, it was absolutely delicious. Tom's not even a sweet person and he even loved it himself. I hope you're all staying safe. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you very, very soon. So if you want something to...